guys, this is Leo from Leo and Cool Creations, and we have a really cool creation waiting for us. Before we get to the creation itself, we're going to go over the minifigures. We have the minifigure that's exclusive to the set, the wizard. He has a kind of electric staff with a really cool crystal electrical piece. He's got a wizard hat with a kind of dragon symbol on it. He's got a really cool beard piece. And, un and he's also got legs with a spider in a jar and rat bones. And underneath all of that stuff, he's got some kind of dragon necklace that he wears right there. He's also got a really mean looking face, and that's the only face that he has. Okay? Now, we're going to get over the kind of ninja soldier. He's from Lego DC Superheroes Iron Fist, but we're just going to use him as some kind of ninja soldier. He's got really plain green legs, a dragon symbol on the on his chest representing what tribe he's from, and he's got a and he's got a yellow head where you can get where his eyes are blank. He has no covering over his head. Next. When we're done with the minifigures, now let's get on to his pet. He's got some kind of head pet, which is kind of transparent. He has shark teeth and little eyes, and there is no background under there. You can also put him on a minifigure head, as a minifigure head. Now we've got his golden snake guard. It's kind of like from golden snake from Ninjago. It's got the diamond symbol, a rattle, like on a rattlesnake. And he can only goes up. And sometimes he can go sideways if he's not on any studs. Okay, now let's get to his glider. This is his kind of glider cloud. It's kind of like from the cloud from Lego The Adventures of Clutch Powers. It's, yeah, you can get it at Walmart or on Netflix. You can just attach the wizard onto his cloud like this. Then, then you can zoom around. I can fly, I can fly, I can fly! <coughs> okay, now we're going to get on to the creation itself. Here is his hideout. It's got some really nice detailing, lots of rock pieces. It's got a blade that if there are any intruders, it slices them. Yeah! It's got this flick missile if there are also any intruders. And it's got a scope zone on it. Right there. You can see it there. And you just load it up. It's got a spider entrance where it has a spider web and a poisonous spider. You can move it forward or backwards, any way you like it to. And there's and it also you can kind of lock it a little bit if there are any intruders and try to get into it. Okay, now we're going to get inside. Here's the inside. He's got some kind of stirring mechanism and a kind of boiling pot. And you can drop ingredients like a crystal, a bone here, and also this kind of dust stuff right there. You can also take out the cap if you want to. And you can attach this onto the studs if you have pot. It's also got another spider exit right here. And it also has this rope that goes down onto there, so he can, so he can get away if any intruders get past everything else. You can go up and you can raise the rope, and you can also bring it down the other way if there, for a secret escape if this place is blocked. It's also got this weapon shack where you can actually, where if his death staff gets left behind somewhere. He can use it as a different kind of weapon. See? Attach it on there. And he can fight anything. Ah! It's also got one more flick in the cell that's located right here. If there are any enemies right there that got into your house, you can fire at them. It can turn at 360 degrees. You can move it up and down. It also kind of breaks easily. 
which can goes up and down. And you can launch this missile like this. Three, two, one, fire! Like this big missile right here. It's also got like some really cool plant designs located here. It's kind of like a dead tree stump. Lots of green images to get it the real forest feeling. So that was the so that was the Wizard Secret Hideout video. I hope you liked it. And okay, see you next time. Bye.